Today I wanted to follow on from last week's blog post and talk about um, why people buy their cards and with a focus on why I bought my car because this is about me. Um, when I was 18 I was looking into buying a new car. I just got my first proper job after leaving college and I wanted something that was a bit more expensive and a bit more exciting compared to the Daewoo Lanos that I currently owned. Um, there were two cars that I knew I liked um, and at this point in my life I didn't really know anything about cars other than that I knew how to drive them just and I knew that how they looked was important. So the first car that I test drove was one of the new shape Honda Civics that looked like a bullet bill from Mario um, and I test drove it and I hated it which really upset me because that, to me that was the car I was going to get um, I didn't like that you couldn't really see out of the, the back windscreen it was too big, I'd never be able to park it and it just scared me a little bit as you know a very new driver um, another car I had my eye on again literally in terms of looks but I'd also owned a very old one in the past was the Fiat Punto. So I test drove a Grande, Grand? I suppose that depends on whether you live in Italy or England, um, a, a Grand uh, Fiat Punto. And I loved it. There was no, you know, there was nothing wrong with it. It had city drive which just made steering and parking really easy. The sound system was good. I remember the, um, the dealer literally just turning it up as loud as as loud as possible while I test drove, we had a bit of a, you know, a test drive party. Um, and then when we got back into the dealership, I said, okay, that, that's good, that nice blue Punto, but I want an orange one. And apparently, I couldn't have the orange one because that was the sport version, which I wouldn't get insured on, which I think might have been a lie. Um, and they, didn't, they just didn't have any in, in stock. So I went with the little blue Punto, and I love it. I still love it. Uh, even after all this time, partly because recently we just drove to Sweden, we took two cats to, hit the, to their owner who had moved out there, and we drove this Punto to Sweden and back again with no hiccups, no problems, great fuel economy, city drive making things a piece of piss, it was brilliant, and um, it's awesome on the autobahns, it can easily do, you know, sort of 100 miles an hour, 90 miles an hour and keep up with everything around it, um, and we even got it to 116. As you'll know, I hate it when people slag off other people's car choices. I think you should keep your mouth shut for a start because you don't know how much of an emotional attachment someone might have to that car. For example, it, it actually upsets me and hurts my heart when people slag off my car. And I think that's because I'm a girl and I've named it, but I love the car. Uh, it might not be the best and I might want to, you know, get something with power but that doesn't mean that I'm not going to miss that car if I get rid of it. Less of a rant today and a bit more of a, a heartfelt Punto love story. I will see you next week for another video that may or may not be more or less angry than this. Who knows? See you later!